Hello everybody and welcome to the next episode of my Pokemon Moon and Lessons Lock. The reason I say that is I do not remember what on earth the uh, episode is. Uh, let me turn the volume down a little bit. There we go. Right, now, okay, so uh, I do not remember what episode it is. I believe it's something like episode 25. I didn't check before starting. I know, great preparation. Either way, we're going to go ahead and uh, fight Steven, I believe. Now, I believe, I could be wrong, but I believe we uh, did just barely beat the uh, fourth and final Elite Four member. Uh, we only have three Pokemon left, as you saw that there. They are our uh, T cubed, which is really not that useful, but has come in useful for us. Queen Crab, by far the VIP, uh, the MVP of this uh, Nuzlocke. And a Flame Salt, our uh, Slug, I mean, our Mad Cargo. Uh, T cubed has. Uh, all the stats are alright, but the defense is definitely great at 106, and HP is pretty good at almost 180. Uh, uh, stomp, knock, uh, knock off, hyper, uh, hyper voice, and defense curl. Really, as you can see, we've only really been using stab, stomp, and knock off occasionally. Uh, we have our queen crab, which is a T actually is a TM HM slave. All the moves are HMs, so you can see right here we have dive, rock smash, waterfall, and surf. Didn't turn, didn't want it to turn out that way, but it is a very good thing with a water type because three of these moves are actually. Uh, Pretty, you know, they're all wire types, and that's a fighting type attack. Not the best move spread, but so far we've been able to get through with it. Uh, we have strength on our rock salt, but also rock salt has a really good defense with a with uh, amnesia, flamethrower, and rock slide as its other three moves. I know we didn't look at Queen Crab stats, but they're actually pretty good. Let's go ahead and take a look at them just for fun, I guess. As you can see here, all except for two are over 100, and the two that aren't over 100 don't matter that much. I mean, we're, I believe water, I want to say water is going to be a special type in this game, but with the way it's hitting, I'm guessing it's, the way that Queen Crab hits, I'm guessing it's probably a physical uh, type of attack. I know 4th gens, when they actually get physical special split, rather than just by type, each move gets an individual type of, uh, individual physical special. But, uh, yeah. Pretty good, uh, pretty good stats. Sorry, I'm still I'm mumbling a bit. I don't know why. Either, let's, either way, let's see uh, if we can go ahead and fight Steven. We have three Pokemon against his. Uh, this isn't Steven. Alright. Really? Alright, so, yeah, we have... We, we fight this guy instead of uh, Steven, but... Alright, he starts out the Flygon. We have no ice attacks, which really sucks. I believe it might have the ability to levitate. We don't have earthquakes, so I don't know why that matters. It, it doesn't, to be honest. Alright, popping up that sandstorm, it's gonna start buffing us. I think we'll have to bring in rock salt. Because that actually, uh the, sand, uh, the sandstorm will increase rock salt's special defense. While the sand is still active. Admittedly, if he hits us with a ground attack and he is stabbed ground, we'll be dead, so perhaps we're better off using Queen Crab. Alright, luckily we're dark type, so we're gonna take half damage off that. Now we need to hit this thing super hard. Otherwise we will absolutely be destroyed. Let's try a surf. Okay, it screeches us dropping our defense, which is really not good. We might have to switch just for that, depending on how well we do against Flygon with the surf. Alright, we do pretty well against uh, Flygon with the surf. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and switch into uh, T cubed here, because we we won't have maximum defense if we're gonna be fighting this thing. Good thing T cubed can sack it due to the really great HP that it is gifted with. Let me make sure I'm recording my voice. I'd be embarrassed if I'm not. I am indeed, and it is on the uh, right channel, correct? Yes, it is. I I'm such an expert at this, aren't I? Alright, let's go ahead and get this going. Now, Stomp, we saw it didn't do too well last time. I don't think it's holding an item. It could be, though. So let's go ahead and try a knockoff. I don't want to, I actually am trying very hard not to bring it down to where he'll use a Hyper Potion because that would just cause an issue for us. So I'm guessing we're getting another Dragon's Breath. No, he puts up a Sandstorm, which is really lucky for us. Because he's not low enough where the AI wants to heal him up. So we'll be able to actually get the Faint on this Flygon. Oh, that was that was scaring me for a second. 
Okay, so there goes Flygon. So I have a little speed up there there. Unintentional, ultimately. Magneton, I believe, is what that just said. Definitely, definitely not staying in on Magneton. We will use a fire attack though to quickly uh, get, a uh, get rid of it though. So this luckily will not hit, I, well it won't hit me, but it won't hit him due to the steel typing either. Okay, you're gonna lock on to me, hopefully there's nothing serious that's gonna happen. But ho I'll, also hopefully we just flamethrower it so we don't have to worry about what the next move will be. Hopefully flamethrower will just take it out quickly. And indeed it does. Ride on. Alright, so yes, I do want to bring in Queen Crab. That's very true, but uh, at the low HP that Queen Crab has right now, I don't want to uh, have him fainted off something stupid. So, set. What? What's. I just realized this is a randomized Nuzlocke, so all the, all the uh, Pokemon are randomized, but this person legit has a Sandstorm team. They have, they've had Rock, Ground, and Steel Pokemon, the three that they actually brought out. So I understand here that I might actually end up losing our, uh, our T-Cubed to this, but I think it's ultimately a, uh, for the greater good, if we end up losing, hopefully we don't, because obviously a third Pokemon's always useful. So we do end up losing T-Cube. <coughs> to be honest, he's a, he was a good wall, but as a normal type, nothing super fa- uh, he's not super effective on anything. <coughs> uh, sorry, I have a little bit of a cough. Uh, so we'll take a little bit of buff off that sandstorm, but honestly, this thing's four times weak to any water attack we use, so I think we'll uh, go with the waterfall just to keep it balanced with the surf. And this should probably Oko it. And it broke sturdy by using takedown, so assuming it had sturdy. Alright, Steelix. This is a tricky one. I think we're gonna stay with Queen Crab because it's Queen Crab, and uh, because we don't want to bring out Mad Cargo into a ground attack. But honestly, we could have went with either. Sandstorm does subside, which works fantastically for me. Let's go ahead and take a look what he's gonna do by using Dive. Alright, Slam, so we definitely. I mean, our defense is pretty good, but we don't want to deal with that if we don't have to. And we are faster, so we can actually go ahead and take this thing out. Oh, good thing it missed. We can go ahead and take this thing out with a uh, without even worrying about the dive. In fact, dive would be safer, and not just that, but it will, it will uh, keep us with uh, two surfs and two uh, waterfalls if we actually need a sandstorm. That's annoying, but we can go ahead and uh, deal with it using our uh, medication. But this person legitimately has a sandstorm team, straight off of randomized. Clefable. Uh, we have fighting moves. Clefable is not yet a fairy type. Uh, we have one fighting move rather. I think we're gonna. I think we are going to go ahead and. Uh, t well, it's gonna take damage. So what we're gonna do is, since both of our pokes are gonna be taking damage from Sandstorm, is I'm actually going and it is. Uh, it's actually faster than us. Is that what I just saw? No. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and dive to let. Okay, minimize. So that sucks. But Sandstorm's still gonna hit it. So I'm going to try one, two, I'm going to let the sandstorm buff it, and I'm also going to try to do damage to it myself. Double slap, alright. That didn't do nearly what I was hoping for. It is faster than this, which means it's definitely faster than Mad Cargo. So this is a this is an exercise in futility to use the water attacks like that. Luckily, Sing does miss. I'm not about. To, I don't want to be sleeping right now. Okay, we miss because minimize. Fan freaking fantastic. Sandstorm does subside, so we don't have to worry about that. Double slap misses. Luckily, I don't know how, but hey, whatever. Right, we can chip away at it like that. Uh, I don't want to, but we can. In fact, this thing. Let's see. We know it has uh, Sing. We know it has. Double slap, and we know it has minimize. So we don't know what it's the last one is, but we do know that uh, at least for double slap, the uh, Rioxal only takes half damage off of it. And if he sleeps, he'll be able to take multiple double slaps, and I'll be able to control it pretty well. 
Uh, and what I mean by control it pretty well is I can control the damage pretty well. Because, like I say, he has really good defense. Double slaps only half of, uh, only does half damage to him. And even if he's asleep, I mean, it, it would be trivial to actually use potions to keep him healthy. Even if he does get some. Oh, crap, I think I know what it is. I think I have Water Incense on uh, Queen Crab. I think that's actually it. Uh, this is really bad because it looks like they're going to go ahead and uh, get and get themselves healed up. I was hoping that would uh, finish it off, but it didn't. Gentleman Pie. If we can get a burn, obviously that'd be that would be ideal. Because then you you I mean you can't I mean yeah they use full stores actually so they could get rid of it. Alright, let's see if my hypothesis is uh, minimized. Please be, I mean, uh, metronome B, something not useful. Okay, slam wouldn't have been useful anyway. Well, holy crap, the accuracy is horrible on this Clefable. You self-destruct. Okay, that's not good. That, I believe, ends up being neutral on us, and he gets health back. That was a crit, though, so I'm... If that was a crit, I'm okay with that. I'm just happy it wasn't Mega or Giga Jane. So we know that it has uh, Minimize, Sing, Double Slap, and Metronome. Megahorn. Yep. Okay, if we can get burned, then, the, uh, then Double Slap is even less effective because he'll be down to half attack power. Alright, there's another Folio Store. I'm hoping there's only two for this one, because I don't want to be going back and forth with this Clefable for days, because I don't have anything that hits too hard. Another Minimize, that's not good for us. Somewhat surprisingly, we do end up hitting it. Alright. So we want, considering, uh, no, we're actually pretty good right here. I am not complaining about hitting. Alright, so tell me that. Please tell me he's not gonna use another photo store. But he does, alright, so three, I'm hoping, is the limit now. We still have one Pokemon left, and we're getting our PP but quick. Due to, uh, due to this guy's constant healing up of this Clefable. I mean, we're trying to keep these balanced for the sake of, you know, not losing. Can you self-destruct? I can take that. Dragon Claw. Great. This might even turn into a battle of struggle, which I hope it doesn't. I mean, honestly, if it does, uh, you guys wouldn't hear it anyway, because I'll, I'll probably spend this video up. Oh, we do have some uh, elixir, though. All right, we have two elixirs, thank goodness. So if it comes to that, we have them. Triple slap. Alright, please tell me you're done with the healing now. Are you kidding me? That's four times. This is ridiculous. I don't know why the AI has four stinking... That's, that's insane. That's four of those. Alright, Shockwave, that is really bad. Uh, we, can, we can get Paralyzed Heal, though. We have a few. Luckily, it doesn't, hit, it doesn't take us uh, in with Paralysis. It doesn't die, I guess, with Paralysis. I'm sorry, I'm really... I'm messing up my words today. I'm going to go mess my words most of the time, but today especially. 
Okay, this is gonna eat up our PP, that's what's doing. It's not necessarily a threat to us, but it definitely is eating up PP like crazy. Okay, we're just using strength, screw it. We're actually not gonna bother with uh, heal, uh, with uh, getting out of the sleep status, because every turn we're asleep, uh, they have to use a move. And every turn they use move, they get lower on the PP, so it might turn into a struggle situation. Unless that happens. Okay, that, that's about as much as I could expect, considering we weren't, we're not exactly uh, stab with strength. We're just using strength to try to burn, you know, try to burn this thing down to a struggle. Because I don't want to use my actual stab moves, because I don't know what the last move, uh, Pokemon this uh, guy has is. Oh no. Crap. Oh, right, down to the lone survivor. Queen Crab. We're gonna use dive for the same uh, same exact theory as to why we were uh, allowing ourselves to sleep last time, even though we woke up on turn one, which is kind of unlucky. It's because we're just trying to make him burn out the PP. What are the odds? What are the odds that you get you sing and then you immediately get stinking smelling salts out of the uh, metronome? Not just that, but the entire this this guy's team is actually well composed for a sand team, and then the uh, sleep hits anyway. Sing uh, hits anyway. Next turn. Uh, that seems more like what you'll get out of a metronome. Attack drop, which I'm really not a fan of, but you know what? If, it, if that's what it's come down to, is where he basically has to use metronome. Metronome minimize, and I can deal with that. Because at some point, minimize is no longer effective, and metronome is arguably not effective. And once you have a metronome, all you have is minimize, I can deal with it. Okay, we do get a defense job. So we, we have an attack shot, they have a defense shot, bringing it back down to about even playing, uh, an even playing field, unless we're using special attacks, in which case it's a moot point out of the way. But I'm almost 100% sure that Yawk Smash ends up being, or uh, Yawk Smash is a physical, or fighting is considered a physical typing in this game, and as that's what we're using. Looks like they may very well be out of, uh, out of metronome, from what I'm seeing here. Again, I'll take the sleep stats as long as that's all they have left. The sleep metronome. Because it, it oh, I mean, singing metronome. Because it just means they're going to end up in a struggle, and we can probably deal with the struggle because we still have full HP, and neither of those moves are damaging. So it's not going to change anything. Alright, we do finally take out that thing, Quafable. Alright, all comes down to what his last Pokemon is. We do get ourselves some stat increases though. Plus three on the attack, plus three on the special attack, so we're, we're all right there. Weezing. That is bad because it could explode on us. And we're out of dive. Alright, surf. Oh dear. Yeah. That just happened. Is that how it's gonna be? Okay, we get ourselves a D job. 
What the hell? I don't even know the ruling. I don't even know the ruling uh, how this game calculates a winner. I mean, technically, we could win from the D uh, from the Destiny Bond, right? But then we'd lose the Nuzlocke. All stat changes are eliminated. That's fantastic. It means my attack's back up. Also means his defense is back up, but I'm really not worried about that right now. Please tell me Waterfall has a chance to flinch in this game as well. Are you freaking kidding? Right, here's what we're going to have to do. We need to hope and pray that this is going to work. Because we only have two, uh, we only have two chances to do this. Alright, we'll survive. Come on, Queen Crab, your defense is good. Wow. I, I don't even know what happened, technically speaking. Do we win or do we lose? I mean, yeah, we lost in game, but so far as I mean, we beat him, but we didn't beat him. That that is the most non-satisfying, confusing end to a Nuzlocke I've ever seen. Because that was the last Pokemon that they had, so that means that Weezing would have exploded, ending up by uh, causing us to what? Weezing would have exploded, making him faint. So technically, his last Pokemon was fainted because it was the last one he had. But then our Pokemon fainted as well, and it was the last Pokemon we had. So, how do we even rule that? You know what? I'm gonna have to go, I don't even know if this is a win or not. I'm gonna have to go ahead and uh, check out the, uh, I'm gonna check out the, uh, the uh, ruling for the uh, game, uh, the modern game, and see where they, what they uh, count, or how they count that. Because I know that the, uh, I know they, uh, they have it. They have TCG ruling for it. No, not TCG ruling. Uh, they have, uh, VGC ruling. They have it. Uh, for situations like that. And I have no idea what it ends up being. So, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode right now. You guys go ahead and tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, either way, we either won or lost in Nuzlocke, technically speaking. And I will see you all, and then, well, well there's not going to be another episode, there isn't going to be another episode regardless, so thank you all very much for watching this, uh, Pokemon Emerald and Muslims Lock. I do appreciate your, uh, continued viewership, uh, stay tuned for other videos on this channel, and I hope to see you all next time.